All right, guys. I'm gonna move a little birthday here. Yeah? Now listen closely. Okay, you hear that noise? That's the noise you want to hear when you pick up a David Bradley and walk it forward. All right? That's the noise you want to hear. I had guys emailing me. Uh, videos going out to a couple of special guys. You know who you are. Emailing me about uh, the hubs, how they work, why they work, what that noise is, and um, exactly what's going on inside there. So what we did, I took uh, one of the parts uh, tractors I have here, flipped it on the side, and I'm going to pull that hub off and show you exactly what's going on in there and what you're listening to. All right, and uh, get you a better idea of um, what to and what not to expect. All right, first off, obviously you take the wheel off, okay? The easiest way I've found is flipping is on the side. Make sure the gas tank is empty, right? You can jack it up and block it up if you can, if you can. but it's easy enough to drain down the gas tank. Um, this is the easiest way to do it, I have found. All right, loosen the hub. Uh, restraining clamp there, okay? Just loosen that, flips right off. All right, very simple, right? And that is the only thing that's holding that hub. All right, again, get a noise. Tractor's going forward. That's the noise you're going to hear. Going backwards, you're not going to hear nothing. It's exactly the same as a ratchet head. All right, exactly the same. You know, you click one way or the other, you hear the clicking noise. Okay, exactly the same concept. All right, they took it to a massive... Uh, you know, size here, okay? I'm gonna pull this whole hub off here. One handed, very simple, okay? Now look at this hub, man. This hub is one piece cast steel. One piece cast steel. All right, you see that? See the teeth inside there? It's beautiful, man. One piece. Freaking made things, man. They made things back then, I'm telling you. Right, one design, simple design, it works, you stick with it. it ain't broken, don't fix it. Alright. Okay, that's what you're looking at inside there now. Okay, the inside there's what they call the paw. Okay. That's the paw right there. Okay, and that's what you this ratcheting noise. That's what you're hearing. This click 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 around the, the teeth here. That's what you're hearing. If you don't hear that noise, Something's going on inside here. Either the spring is broken, or the pore is loose, popped out, whatever. Sometimes, uh, you know, they can flop out. All right, you see how easy they come out. It comes out really easy. All right, you want to take this apart, wash it. Again, I always say it all the time. These Bradleys, the simplicity of them is what I love. Freaking simplicity, man. Look at that. The pore comes right out. No special tools needed. All right, take the spring out. All right, sometimes the spring loses its spring too. Get replaced that occasionally. I've done that on one. But that is really it. Okay, that's what you're hearing. And on the ones that reverse, basically what they have is a mechanism that flips the, uh, the ratchet from one side to the other, exactly like a regular ratchet would do. All right, and puts the strain on the teeth to go the other way. All right, so pretty simple. The other thing why I have this open to show you is these David Bradley's, a lot of guys don't know. You look at some of them, and um, you don't see the axles sticking out. And you look at others, the axles are sticking out. And guys ask, how come that is? Because they're adjustable. That's why that is, all right? You see this here? The whole thing slides, all right? It's adjustable. You can bring your wheels out all the way to do cultivating and stuff like that, or bring them in all the way for a tighter, stronger, uh, uh, force on the transmission for plowing, etc. All right, so uh, it's adjustable, and it's just one uh, key that goes into the slot there that holds it in place. All right, it's, it's again, man, I say it all the time about these things the simplicity. All right, don't be intimidated, take them apart, look at them. Um, you know, you guys are emailing me, uh, you know, pull it apart, man, it's the only way you're going to learn about it. Pull it apart, look at it, very, very simple. All right, but that clicking noise, uh, 
One guy actually wasn't going to buy a Bradley because he heard this clicking noise. He thought something was broken. It's not broken. That's what you want to hear. That clicking noise. You don't hear that clicking noise, you got a problem. Okay, it's broken spring. The pole popped out or something else. You might even have, I doubt it, but you might have a worn tooth in here. These teeth, I've never seen them wear out. Never. Um, and that is why you don't need, uh, you know, five, six, ten horsepower on a David Bradley. It's all torque. This is all torque, man. That's why the older ones have 1.7, 1.8 horsepower. You don't need uh, a lot of engine power. Okay, the power comes from the torque from the transmission. All right, it's just awesome, man. I mean, come on. You look at shit today. You take it apart. You're gonna find something like this? Never. No freaking way. Okay, this is one piece hub. Very simple to change. Okay, and that's so that should answer all your questions you guys are asking me about these hubs and how they come apart and how they work. Um, next video I do, I'm going to pull the reverse one apart. I'm going to flip the reverse one over, pull it apart, and I'm going to show you exactly how the reverse works. And um, give you a close up video like this so you can see if you're missing parts or what isn't, isn't working. But again, that's what you want to hear that clicking noise. All right, if it's, uh, if it's clicking, it's ticking, man. That's what I say. And, uh, you know, these things run better than the Timex. So, all right, guys, hopefully this answers your questions. Uh, anything else, just uh, shoot me an email, man. All right, that'll do it for now. Book them, Daniel.